Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I will be doing a cash unstuffing and I will also be going over all of our expenses for the first two weeks of October. This might be a pretty long video because I am going to be going over our expenses and placing down stickers in my um, calendar spread and then unstuffing our cash envelopes and whatever sinking funds expenses we did have for the first two weeks so if you like watching videos like this or you're interested in how i make it all work then go ahead and keep watching here's the spread for october it is not very interesting to look at but it's okay at the end of the month it'll have so many stickers i'm really not even done with it i still usually add a whole bunch of notes and stickers here um i might not even do it it's okay i kind of wanted to show you guys the previous months when I was away for the month of May, I did finish it out. Um, you know, you could clearly see I did continue to do all the tracking, even though I wasn't filming anymore. Um, that month, it was seven no spends. And I'm not that crazy about the no spends. I think as long as you have the money in your cash envelopes, which is your variable expenses, um, it's okay if you have to spend a little bit of money every day it's already budgeted for i just like to track it just to see but it is not something that i beat myself up about at least not anymore so that was for may and in june as you can see i kind of started to want to track and um, i gave up mid-month pretty much but i was still i was still trying and july the same thing i kind of i started the spread by the way all of these months I still was attempting to come back, but then something would just, t you know, discourage me to, to come back. And then by, uh, where are we? By August, I had pretty much gave up. And September, the same thing. Where is September? You see it's empty. And here we are. Back, um, back to it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to be tracking from the 1st to the 15th. It is, you know, two weeks, so it might take a little bit of time. If you guys don't like to watch this portion, you just like to watch me take out the envelopes, I mean, take out the money from the envelopes, then you can skip ahead. Um, I just like to track it and then talk to you guys about it while I do so. Let me go ahead and just get started. On the 1st, we only had one transaction, and that was a $24 uh, I bought a deep set pan from Sam's Club online because the one I had, it was just all scratched up already and actually the lid was broken. So um, I kept having to use foil to cover it. So I ended up buying a new pan uh, for $24. And really quickly, if you've never seen these videos before, I do like to track all of our bills with this purple color and I track our debt payments with this red sticker color our sinking fund expenses are tracked with this green color and then all of our cash envelopes or variable expenses are tracked with this pink um, color if you guys saw my video from yesterday you can kind of tell that i color code um, when i go over my budget that'll just um, kind of tell you what colors i like to use and i also implement that into my sticker tracking so um yeah so i just wanted to get that out there really quick just in case you're wondering why there's different colors to my stickers i try not to do too many colors but usually it's those three colors so for the second there was quite a few transactions let me try to go over it as fast as i can and they were all from cash envelopes so we went to mcdonald's that was 23 dollars it was the drive-thru we didn't like eat there 23 dollars for that i did not want mcdonald's so i got a um grilled chicken combo for eight dollars and they're literally right across the street from each other i get out of one drive-thru and go right into another so it's it's never like a hassle to do that and then i also bought two things online for my son phoenix he wanted this one uh, sweater for $45 from Endless Pieces. It is a very interesting looking sweater. I don't really like it, but I'm not gonna judge his style. He is 13, so he's finally, you know, building his own style. And uh, 
and i'm just you know if he wants it then then okay and then uh 17 in another um it's like those instagram brands and uh yeah he liked this one shirt uh for 17 dollars i'm still buying him clothes little by little because like i mentioned he's growing out of everything his feet are growing um i literally cleaned out his closet last weekend i believe i have so much clothes and shoes and i might sell whatever i can sell either on offer up or i don't know some kind of website see if or maybe a facebook marketplace just to get some some type of money back and then also you know use that money to rebuy him clothes um so that was it for sunday on the third we actually had a no spend day so there's not very many you guys so that's one of them though on monday there was no money spent and on the fourth there's a quite a few transactions we went to the mall this day so we did um pump gas in our family car 77 dollars and that used to get uh, that car used to get filled up with about 40 45 dollars so um that just lets you know how insane gas prices gas prices are what is wrong with me <laughs> um and then we went to the mall like i said i completely forgot what we went for but my daughter ended up coming out with a build-a-bear bear it's actually a cat 43 dollars. we did not get all the works and all the suit um outfits or whatever we just kind of got her the <laughs> the cat and then the little beating heart um it's the first time she's ever gone into build-a-bear so you know we definitely wanted to get her something from there and then at the mall we also got wetzel pretzel i don't really like wetzel pretzel so i didn't get anything um but that was 21 dollars there there's a lot of takeout you guys will see um and then we went to after the mall as if wetzel pretzel wasn't enough we went to loco burrito they have the best be i guess birria tacos they're they're delicious they're like up there with my brother-in-law's um, quesabirria tacos, but his are still really, really good. So that's $24 there. It's actually pretty inexpensive um, considering that fast food and takeout and everything is pricey as well. And then um, my son, or was it my daughter? I don't remember. We bought $10 because they did not want um, anything from local burrito i refuse to get grubhub or any of those like uber eats i have never got of those services that just bring food to your house i think i only got that one time when i was pregnant with my daughter and the food was cold i did not enjoy it and it was just because i you know i was pretty i had a pretty crappy first trimester i did get some food delivered and i didn't care for it i don't care for the price or nothing i'd rather just go myself it gets me out of the house <laughs> on the fifth there was a no spend day i'm like looking off to the side so i'm getting a little bit distracted by the way this is what i'm looking at um it's just how i i track the date transaction the amount and the category and of course i color code it and then um at the end i still have to go all the way to the back side and then i added everything up together here i'll go over it when i do the um when i take the money out of the envelopes but um i just kind of wanted to give you guys a preview of what i am looking at and um if i had to choose whether to do sticker budgeting like plan um tracking or like this then i would just do this since it's simpler you could clearly see at a glance but i love stickers and i've loved stickers since i was a little girl so this is my adult way of playing with stickers on the six i went to get a car wash so that was 35 dollars with tip yeah it was just a basic car wash nothing nothing fancy and uh that was it actually for that day on the 7th actually no i'm lying 
there was another transaction. I went to get some groceries at Food for Less, so I spent $167 there. On the 7th, Brian went to, went to uh, pick up the kids from school for the weekend, so that was $12. He just picked up some McDonald's for the drive back home. They do live quite a bit, not too, too far, but far enough away from us, so it is quite a drive um, every time he has to pick them up. So that was $12 for that, and then he took my oldest son, Isaiah, to Guitar Center because he wanted some new uh, guitar picks. He really likes to play the drums and his guitar. He has an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar and he has drums and he's really good. He's self-taught and he picks songs up really well. So, you know, we like to be encouraging of just him exploring that side of his, his talents. He's had those drums for a long time and then he's just gathered all those other instruments um, throughout the years. So that was it for Friday and on the eighth we went to an arcade close to home and um we spent 18 dollars for drinks and some snacks that was 18 dollars there brian actually used his spending money for like the the actual arcade games and stuff um we only i only um accounted for the drinks and the little bit of snacks. I had actually cooked that day. It took me forever, a few hours. It was uh, costillas and salsa verde, which is ribs and like green salsa. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that. They were delicious, but they do take quite a bit of time. Um, certain Mexican recipes can take, can take a long time. I don't know what's with that, but the food ends up being delicious. So it was worth it. And I'm like, you know what? We're about to go to this arcade. I need to cook because I know that if we go, we're going to spend so much money there and then we're going to go ahead and spend even more to eat out. So um, it was just really good and we saved some money. So um, that was it for the 8th, I believe. Yeah, that was it. On the 9th, I went to Food for Less. No, not Food for Less. To a, a grocery store, Superior, $94.00. Brian actually cooked this day. He loves making Cajun shrimp. I purchased what I needed for the Cajun shrimp oil, but I also did get some extras. So that was $94 there. And that's it for that. On Monday the 10th, I went quite a few places. I made a online order at Lowe's for some bug stop for $8. We were getting so many ants in the house. I have no idea why, but um, that was able to stop them from coming in. And then I also made, made an Amazon purchase for hand soap, some refill hand soap, $10 for that. Um, I purchased, I think I needed some foil from like aluminum foil and I bought myself, I don't know who I watched. Um, I think it was like the, a short or something of them. I have never purchased the tree hut scrubs, the, the sugar scrubs, so, um, I went and purchased one and I really, really like it. It smells really good. So I purchased myself one and that was $16 there. And the last one, um, guess again, we went to local burrito. I picked up some of those quesabirria tacos, <laughs> $29. Tuesday the 11th, it was a no spend day. So let me go ahead and grab this one over here. On Wednesday the 12th, I made a Sam's Club online order for pickup for $130. I bought some pet food, some house supplies, and since I was already there, I also pumped $50 at the gas station. They finally opened it up. It was closed for such a long time at my local um, Sam's Club, so that was, that was good. And it's like 30 cents cheaper than than the cheapest one around here. So I definitely did take advantage of that. And then I purchased um, some tech decks for my son for $15 on Amazon. And the last thing was I paid my car registration $409 with a late fee. I did also speak about that in um, 
I think my video from two days ago so yeah that was 409 dollars i am taking that from the emergency fund because we have like not enough at all in our car maintenance um which is where i try to save for that um but there was not enough so that was it for the 12th on the 13th i gave five dollars to my son for you know just for, for him to take to school he has a friend that sells candy so he um wanted five dollars and if you can guess again, where do you think we went to eat? <laughs> well, I, I picked it up. Local burrito, $39. That is the theme of the day, right? Maybe there's a local burrito where you live. I don't know. On Friday the 14th, we were craving donuts. So we went to go pick up some donuts, $21. I don't know why Brian got a dozen and he got like chocolate milk and some other stuff. So it was quite pricey for donuts. But um, we just wanted to hop in the Bronco and cruise around a little bit. And we had no milk, so he stopped and got four um, a $4 gallon of milk at Food for Less. And this was like the huge... Um, this is the only thing I don't like about the Bronco. He pumped $100 worth of gas. And it wasn't even full yet. He just stopped at $100. So... That was a nice um, a nice amount for that, wasn't it? <laughs> so we are done for Friday and we're almost done. We actually did not spend any money on a Saturday. It was a no spend day. And this day was my sister-in-law's birthday and I completely forgot. I forgot to wish her a happy birthday. I'm telling you, I've been, I've been a hot mess for like the past two weeks because I've been preparing to come back. So um, I am gonna have to, you know, give her some cash just so she could buy herself something nice. Happy birthday, Brenda. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be it for our expenses of the week. I'm gonna go ahead and unstuff our cash envelopes and singing funds. For the first two weeks of October, our total spending was $1,465. Only five of that was cash, so we will be unstuffing $1,460 today. I did break it down in this portion. $912 is going to come out of our cash envelopes and $548 out of our sinking funds. Now, I'm going to start with our sinking funds first. First one, emergency fund, $409 out of there for the car registration and the late fee. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, mama, that's nice. My daughter is right here, right next to me. She literally wants to be in the video, you guys. She's like ready to go to make a video. So <laughs> I might insert a little clip at the end because she has her whole little setup of pens and post-its right next to me. Um, you wanna say hi, mommy? Yeah. You wanna say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Let me skip to home decor and that's $24. 20 and a five, so I'm gonna need $1 back. And in here, we still have 120, 120, 40, 60, 80, 220, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 176. Car maintenance, I have to take $35 out. So 100, 100. And I need, you know what, let me just... Minus $35, $65. Hold on, mommy, okay? No, it's okay. Help me in a little bit, okay? So now we still have $85. No, mama, leave it there. Leave it there, mommy, please. Back to school. I think we're done with this one. Now we're going to go over to back to school, $62. I'm taking it out of here because clothing, I don't have enough, so I'd rather just take it completely out of one envelope. $62, 20, 40, 60, and two. She is really distracting me right now, you guys. 
20, 40, 60, 65, 70 dollars left. Family fun, 18 dollars. Out of there. Mommy, leave that there, please. So that's a 20 there and get two dollars back. Now we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. And we're done with our sinking funds. Now let's go over to our cash envelopes and gas $227, which is almost everything. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and 25, 6, 7. So we have $10 left. And our cars are actually full with gas right now so although we might use some of it up this sunday i mean this saturday since we're gonna go to that wedding for miscellaneous 24 dollars. so we have 30 and i'm gonna get six dollars back now there's 26 pets 64 dollars 20, 40, 60, and a five. <laughs> oh my God, if you guys could hear that, that's our pool cleaner. It's like a suction vacuum. Um, it does that when it like comes up to the surface and it doesn't suck up any water. So it makes this like weird, loud sound. So Pets now has five, 10, 11, 12, $13. Now in beauty, nothing. And kids, $58. 20, 40, 50. Now I'm just going to do the 60 and get $2 back. So now we have 12 here. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for you, it's $12. Here, you want to play with this one? Okay. But let me finish, okay? For you, I actually need to get my wallet really quickly. I'll be right back. Here's my wallet. So I'm going to be taking $12 from my little cash envelope. I think I have $2 here and a 10. So I still have quite a bit. 20, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Can't even count when she's right next to me. <laughs> So there's that. And now we are going to take out $187 from there. So we have 200. 87, 200 minus 187. Hold on, my mom. So we got $3 here. And. That's 33 left there. Uh, and groceries, $265, 200, 300. So that's 300 minus 265 is 35. Back, 20, 35. So we still have. 140 55. I'm really trying not to go off topic because <laughs> it is very hard to stay concentrated right now with the little hands and all the clanking right next to me. Household, I'm gonna take $75 out, and it's actually everything that's in here. Let me can you move this that way, please? Thank you. Oh, so move me out of the way. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's going to be it. So now we're going to go ahead and count up all the money just to make sure that we have the $1,460. And I will be using some of this money for my uh, October Paycheck 3 cash stuffing. I do recycle the money from the cash on stuffings so that I'm able to stuff the following paycheck and I don't have to make so many trips to the bank all the time. If I can avoid it, I do and it works really well. 
sometimes I don't have the denominations that I want, but then I could just go into our binders and get them. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> and get whatever it is that um, I might need. So let me go ahead and give it a count. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 950. So that's 950 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. <laughs> She's literally shuffling money right next to me. I'm going to have to count this again. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 510 so plus 510 so yes we have the 1460 i don't even know why i put it back here we have the 1460 dollars i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go here because i am struggling so i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night see you next time bye